heading up Low Sea Creek Canyon with my buddy Rocky. Gonna go hike about six, seven miles and then pitch camp for the night, hang out, and then do a little easy hike out in the morning. It's 70 degrees, sunny. We're in between Panguitch and Bryce Canyon. It's actually pretty quiet this Easter weekend, so I was a little surprised. Just a couple of cars at the trailhead. So here we go. Just under three miles in. It's been so beautiful. Seen about five people on trail, two doggos. Um, not a whole lot of water, which is what I kind of expected. Um, a lot of snow, but it looks like it's been pretty dried out from sun exposure. It's so beautiful. It's so unique to have like all the uh, hoodoos and red rock over there. And then over here has been like evergreens and bushes and plant life. It looks a lot more forestry. Um, Rocky's somewhere behind me. There he is. Um, he's doing good. There's plenty of shade. So he's able to kind of walk on some snow to cool off and then sit in the shade for a little bit. I think in dog dumps, he gives it two paws up. I turn off from here to Cassidy Trail. It's right around three miles in. There's supposed to be a bathroom up there. Uh, so I might check that out. Um, otherwise, just gonna keep walking.
little over five miles in. Still in Cassidy Trail. I should be coming up to an, over, excuse me, an overlook um, here soon. Just a little point three out. Um, looks like it'll look over a little canyon with some hoodoos and additional rock formations. Um, then I think my plan is to hike past that about a mile and a half. Um, and that will be at the intersection of Cassidy and uh, the trail that I'll be taking back to the trailhead tomorrow morning. Um, it looks like there might be a spring nearby. And since water has been scant at best, um, I might set up camp and maybe walk around and see if I can find some water at that spring. Uh, I'll have plenty to make dinner tonight and for me and Rocky to drink and stay hydrated. Um, I might have to just eat maybe a bar or something in the morning for breakfast uh, instead of my good old biscuits and gravy mountain house. Uh, but I don't know, we'll see. Downhill all the way tomorrow back to the car. It looks like I should pass some water on that way back. Um, but regardless, it'll be a short hike. Um, I'll be back at the car. I've got water back at the car. Um, so regardless of if I find water at camp, I should be fine to for tonight and tomorrow. Definitely more muddy on the Cassidy Trail here, and it's just mud all from snowmelt, which you can see right there. Um, you know, definitely sticking to the shoes, making them each probably about two pounds, uh, doesn't seem to be bothering Rocky. Uh, off the trail up a little bit on a bit of a plateau that's got a very nice view nice and open and flat um, luckily once we got onto the new trail um, coming back there was a running creek stream uh, able to fill up I was able to fill up my two liter bladder and fill up my bottles and drink some water and kind of catch up and so uh, felt really good about that um, so it made camping choices a lot better uh, and a lot less stressful so I didn't have to actually go hunting for water off uh, off the planned route so Rocky is holding up like a champ ate a good dinner he is tired he has been trying to get into the tent uh, and take a nap so anywho um had a really great day uh really happy with a lot of my equipment I've got a lot of new equipment that I bought last year and didn't get to a uh, road test on the trail. So eating some Peak Refuel Beef Shroganoff and it is delicious. And the best thing about these meals are the lack of amount of water that they take. It took three quarters of a cup of water to make this meal and it's 800 calories and 41 grams of protein. So definitely happy about that. Got some chocolate to enjoy. I think I'm just gonna chill out, watch the sunset, um, listen to some podcasts and just take in the quiet and take in the peacefulness of being out here again. Super excited to get back into the back uh, backpacking season. Um, should have a pretty short, mostly downhill day tomorrow. Should be around five and a half to 
six miles. Um, so excited for that. And then I'll get to do some luxurious car camping for a couple of days. Good morning. Uh, so last night got pretty cold. Had a lot of condensation in the tent, and I think Rocky uh, it definitely generated quite a bit of condensation. Um, so definitely got below freezing. Had frozen water in my bladder uh, that I had filled. Sleeping quilt did great. My body was really warm. Uh, my sleeping pad, on the other hand, definitely felt very drafty from about 3 a.m. on. Um, I could sleep for about an hour and a half at a time. And then when I woke up around um, three o'clock, it was really hard for me to get any sleep after that just because my backside was really chilled. Um, Rocky slept really well, I think. He didn't really move a whole lot. Um, he was kind of nestled up on top of his blanket. So that made me very calm and comfortable. Um, but otherwise, like I felt really confident and safe. And so those were good things. This morning, you know, the trickle downs from the snow melts are all frozen right now. Um, it's beautiful clear blue skies so should have a really lovely hike back to the car when i looked at the map yesterday it definitely looks like it's probably gonna be like five and a half miles um pretty much all downhill so should be a pretty enjoyable time back rocky's doing pretty good he had a little hitch in his step he has a lot of dried mud that like solidified like concrete to his hair so i did a little trim work on that um that seemed to help and put some mushers. Cream salve on his paws, help protect them since the ground's pretty hard and cold this morning. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just pretty excited that it was a pretty successful trip. Um, so just gonna take in all these beautiful views, watch the sun come in um, and go from there. Still on our way down, uh, probably about a mile in. Um, you know, just some thoughts on this trail so far. Uh, this is my first time down in the uh, kind of Bryce Canyon area per se. Um, although I'm not at the national park, I'm only about 10, 12 miles away from there. And uh, a lot of the scenery here is very similar to what you would see there. Uh, just probably on a smaller scale. It's not a unique comment that I'm gonna make, but it really does describe it so well as this place is just otherworldly. You just feel like you are walking on another planet or on the moon. And that's from these rock features that just look like extraterrestrial. Like they just look like some alien species put them here. It's pretty crazy. And then there's parts of the ground here that obviously haven't been to the moon, but looks very similar texture and color to what you've seen in all these different uh, movies about people walking on the moon. I really love being able to see a mixture of different types of terrain. Um, so you've got your evergreens and your woods, then you've got, uh, you know, these red rock features. You have this creek bed, uh, 
it's just really unique and very neat. I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, totally would recommend doing this. Definitely could do it as a day hike uh, or a trail run. It's not hard. It's easy to follow the trails. Um, you know, I enjoyed being able to drive down, hike in, you know, eight miles and set up camp all in the same day and not feel rushed um, outside of the concern for finding water. Really like being able to have this kind of shorter trek back to the car uh, so that I can kind of figure out the rest of my day and find a camping spot tonight. Um, just caught the poles <laughs> on my backpack and I was like, what's following me? Uh, but yeah, so anywho, doing good. Rocky's hitch and a step is gone. Apparently he just didn't want to wear his leash anymore. Uh, so <laughs> all good news. Still definitely chilly. Uh, whenever I get into the sun, it feels amazing. Uh, so it's supposed to be a beautiful day again. Maybe a little windier than yesterday, but enjoying it all nonetheless. So this part of Castle Canyon Trail is open to motorized vehicles like uh, uh, ATVs and four wheelers, um, but totally, totally cool. You get so close to these features. I mean, what? What kind of monster created that? Um, just phenomenal, especially if you wanted to make it easy on yourself, you could definitely walk up this. It's a little flatter uh, terrain than the low sea trail. Uh, but yeah, just, just so cool. I also forgot to say, besides feeling like you're walking on Mars or some other planet or moon, you also get this weird vibe of, uh, like you're in Jurassic Park. Like there's some parts where the rock isn't red, it's more gray and striated. And it just feels so prehistoric. I mean, it's just really, really cool to be able to have this to enjoy. The moon's still hanging out up there. The moon was so bright last night. I was <laughs> had a whole freak out moment this morning thinking, is there somebody outside my tent with a headlamp? Pretty sure everybody's felt that way when they've been backpacking. Uh, <laughs> not, not an uncommon feeling. The only thing that this trail loop does not really have, I mean, what, what? What is uh, wildlife? There's very little wildlife that I've noted back here, um, probably because it's incredibly dry is my assumption. But yeah, it is just, uh, just such a pleasure to get out on.
just finished editing this video and realized that I did not film a proper outro. The whole loop ended up taking me about 14 miles to complete. Definitely recommend, even for a beginner backpacker, the only concern that I would bring up is to make sure that you have plenty of water, whether that's hiking in or being cognizant of what time of year you're hiking that trail. Can't wait to go back to the Red Canyon District to do some more hiking and exploring and maybe some mountain biking. Rocky gave it two paws up. He did wonderful throughout the entire trip. Can't wait to go back down to that area, like I said, and explore some of Bryce Canyon later this year. We hope you like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.